Let me now uh, request Sri Somnath, uh, Chairman ISRO and Secretary of Department of Space, uh, to deliver his uh, address at this occasion. Honorable Dr. Kasurangan, Kiran Kumar, Tarun, and all the distinguished people who are assembled here on the celebration or the beginning of the celebration of this Platinum Jubilee of RRI. What a splendid presentation on the journey of RRI that was given by Professor Mithnithyanada now. A really fascinating uh, journey. I, I was really wondering what I should speak here. Uh, when, you t when you look at institutions that has passed uh, 75 years of existence, still looking forward for a greater journey. And we have two such institutions now. One, PRL, started by the Shushya of Raman, and the one by Raman himself, uh, both celebrating 75 years of his existence in the same year. And currently, the 75 year of celebrations of PRL is going on. So it's really wonderful to see the connection between an eminent scientist of our year, era, Dr. Aman, as well as Vikram Sarabhai, who made a mark for himself uh, in the domain of space technology and science, of which that I have the fortune to come here and do connect it, continue to be connected to Raman Research Institute, uh, even after generations are passed through this uh, institution. The role and significance of Raman Research Institute and the domain of work that it is involved is well known to you and I am not the right person to speak about it and there are many talks coming on uh, each of these domains. What I would like to speak about is the role that space technology and space research activity that are contributing to the, uh, to the research, scientific research and how we can connect uh, the work that you do here in RRI to uh, the work we do in Department of Space and in a space research organization is something that is more fascinating and interesting to me. Of course, there is Dr. Sita. I believe she will be talking about that connection in, in deeper way. When we look at uh, the space program, it all started with uh, the scientific quest only. And uh, later, it you know, converted itself into the application domain and delivery of uh, services through space-based technology to the, to the common people. And for that, we built those instruments, those observation platforms, the communication capabilities, the equipments that are required for it, the satellites, the launch vehicles. And we reached a state where we are capable of moving our objects to Moon and Mars place them there and then do very useful exercise in bringing good science out of it. And the connection that the Indian Space Research Organization established with the research institutions of this country uh, and, and uh, enthused them to do some useful instrument building, carry out some front-end research is really remarkable. And it's continuing. I think that is the, is the result of this great collaboration. The work we did in uh, earlier scientific missions and Aryabhata and Bhaskara are well known to you. Maybe uh, Professor Kasurangan is the right person to speak about it. He had a great association with that. But then later years when which my generation is you know, familiar with are the Chandrayaan, the Mangalayan, the, the Astrosat and all that are also going to be, uh, going to be discussed, I believe. The, the forthcoming missions, the Chandrayaan 2, the Aditya L1, and uh, the missions that we are conceiving now for going to Venus, maybe looking at the aeronomy of the, through the, the Disha satellites, and also some of the future exploration of exosolar planets through our uh, missions that are currently in, in conceptualization. I, th I believe there could, be, there could be greater engagement of uh, scientists working in RRI in connecting with the building instruments hosting them and do some useful sciences, uh, science in the, in, in the later years. The legacy of Raman Research Institute is connected with that one person, uh, Ram, Professor C. V. Raman, who made, who is the only Nobel laureate of the Indian origin so far in science and technology, in, the, in pure science. 
Of course, we have other, other Nobel laureates. But what I look forward is to create the front-end research, maybe from this institute itself, and produce Nobel laureates class people from here. And I think that definitely there are, they are there, but of course, the, the Nobel Prize is maybe all eluding you, all of, all of you maybe. <clears throat> Looking at the space technology again, uh, let me come back on the, the recent changes that has come to our organization. It's really something that really going to change the way we work with the uh, research and other ins and collaboration with other institutions. Over the years, Indian Space Research Organization has been focusing more on delivery of applications for the for the governance, for the public, etc. And and we have created uh, systems like building satellites, launching them, operating them over uh, over many long years, providing communication services, earth observation services. Now we have the NAVIC, the uh, the location services, timing services. And we are going into an operational activity in Indian Space Research Organization. And uh, the government is now telling us to move all those operational activities to a different domain. Uh, and we have created the public sector undertaking called New Space India Limited. And all these activities will now move to the, uh, the operational sector. And Indian Space Research Organization will be more and more focusing on uh, research and development and for advanced technologies in this domain. And this change is going to happen in, in the coming years. And this means that uh, the connection that we need to have between ISRO and organization, scientific organization of this country, the academic you know, institutions of this country is to be strengthened to create greater research and development activities in space technology. And this is going to be a big change that we are, we are going to see in the coming days. And it also requires support of you, all of you, to come and connect with ISRO in creating more and more front-end research uh, through the laboratories and establishments that we have created in ISRO. And they are all available to you as well for carrying out the type of work that you are doing. And you don't have to be constrained within the physical boundaries of the institution that you have here in RRI. I, I offer you uh, at this time to come and connect with Indian Special Research Organization and the laboratories that are existing uh, across the country to find ways to connect with the scientists and engineers working there to build systems or to do uh, support you in carrying out your research in all the domains that you have looked at today and also future domains that will come out maybe in RRI in the, uh, when new faculty and people join here. So this is the only thing that I can offer when you look at, at 75 years uh, and then look for maybe another 25 years of uh, when you celebrate the 100 year of existence, I believe the RRI will definitely grow from of its current stature uh, to, and to be connected more with the larger scale of institutions that are existing in this country for front-end research. I wish all of you uh, a, a great journey of celebration of uh, this starting today. I think this the whole celebration will last for one more one year, the whole year, I believe. Uh, and we'll have uh, all those uh, uh, interaction that will happen between the faculty and students here with the global scientific community through this uh, year, year long celebration and will also produce uh, eminent luminaries that will be hailed maybe when you look sit back and listen to some one lecture like us just now we heard to talk about the accomplishment of all those great people who passed through this institution. Thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, wish you all uh, for the year-long celebration of its Platinum Jubilee of RRI and look forward for greater connection between you and ISRO. Thank you so much.